welcome back to another video. This is going to be like a little tip, um, coloured pencil hack I suppose. Um, it has been my most asked question recently since I did a live stream and people saw me using my little brush pen. Um, and they keep asking me what it's for. So I thought I would do a video just showing how I use it. Um, I think it's the medium one from um, Paper Story. I'll put a link in the description. But I just have this medium little water pen which is used for filling up with water so when you paint your brush has already got the water in. But I decided to fill mine up with zest it because then I don't have to worry about having a pot on my desk all day um, or while I'm drawing I'm then going to spill and having to keep dip, um, my paintbrush in. I just have this little brush. So they're really simple. They just have a little, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but they've just got a little hole in the top. So if you can see, you can squeeze the brush like it's flexible. So you can put it in the bottle, but that gets a bit messy. So I just pour some into the lid. Don't want too much. And then squeeze the brush together, dunk it in, and then let go. And it creates like a little vacuum and fills up. It fills up a little bit. You have to do it a couple of times to get like it completely full. But yeah, that, that's it. Really. And um, then I use this when I am working on my portraits and I just don't have to keep dipping my brush into a pot all the time. So I can just fill this up and I keep it stood upright in my pencil pot so I just store it that way up in one of my pencil pots while I'm working and then when I need to use it I will show you Put that over there. I wipe my desk so much so this is one I've been working on the two colours and I'm doing like the base layers of her tongue at the moment so you just take it off if you need to squeeze it to get it in there you can see the sponge gets wet but a little squeeze you don't really have to do that very often only if you've stored it the wrong way up and then you just use as you would if you were using it with just a paintbrush and dipping it in a pot you can obviously if you not don't feel like you're getting much out squeeze it but I don't feel like I need to because once it starts to flow then you're all right you don't really have to redo it so just mark that in and then you've got a nice base layer to work on and it makes things so much easier in my opinion I love using it like this um, if you look at Lisa LaCree's videos, she uses um, odourless mineral spirit with a paintbrush um, in a pot. I can't see why you couldn't put odourless paint spirit or uh, paint thinner in one of these either. But yeah, that is my little Tuesday tip, super short video. Um, but yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their day. Give this video a little thumbs up if you thought it was helpful and subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!